Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I will be discussing about container groups and then followed by a lab on how to create container groups. To begin with understanding about what exactly container group, container group is a collection of containers that get scheduled on the same host machine. So these containers in a container group are will share the same life cycle of other resources uh, such as uh, it could be a local network or shared volumes um, it's similar uh, a concept that we have in kubernetes like a pod concept and these uh, containers can share your as externally it can be accessible with one public ip one different port but internally it can be have a different things can be configured it can schedule on a single host machine as i said um, is accessible with a dns public uh, name and exposed to a single public ip with one exposed port but consists of two containers one container listens on a port 80 here and while other can listen on port 5000 here so these are two containers meant for a different uh, purposes maybe one for the application data which is directly connected to your storage drive and other one would be just the mounted for uh, tracking all the log files or storing all the log files and uh, that would be directly con uh, co connected to your storage so this is the concept that you have so overall if you see here virtual machine you, on top of it you have the uh, containers and uh, where you have the containers are grouped. So this is what we are trying to do it uh, in the next or within this lecture as a demo. I will be opening Azure Shell and trying to create a file with the command called code with Azure uh, deploy dot JSON file. So that would actually open it's very similar to your Notepad find up kind of thing where you can you know write the code so I have the code which I have already written in ARM so the sample code I'm gonna use here and I'll simply paste it so that the code will be readily available within this editor later I would be saving this file so this file gets saved within my storage uh, wherever I'm working for the cloud shell specific so let me paste here the code so let's click on that three dots and click on save that would save and if I just uh, check for the ls command to find out what are my directories uh, you can see here as your deploy.json file got created and also have the definitely the data from my Azure portal uh, you can see here within my Azure container uh, that's my AZ containers is a resource group I have three different objects here so let me uh, go to one is the container registry and two of them are container instances so I have total three different resources within this specific one. Let me go back to the Azure portal and try to uh, execute the command to deploy the command uh, which we have run. So if you see here AZ group uh, which I'm going to do a group deployment uh, which is a depreciated this command instead deployment uh, a specific other command to be used but let's use the old command uh, to create a resource group that's already we have the resource group here called AZ continuous uh, with a template file called Azure uh, deploy.json file so that's a file it's gonna uh, use uh, under my container called az container az iphone containers is a container so let me hit enter so that would actually triggers in the back end to create a complete um, a group uh, of my containers and if you see here deployment group should be used that's what it's gonna uh, say that instead of the group deployment use the deployment group as the new command as Microsoft keep on changing the command so uh, now it's just created the required containers in the back end or container groups has been created now let me show you the progress of the current task uh, with the show command so that would actually shows the progress as it has been already deployed and it is running fine it took maybe a two three minute time for me to uh, to complete completely create the specific group of co containers so let me show you uh, even from the azure portal so in the azure portal uh, within this container uh, within this resource group is the hyphen containers if i do a a quick refresh I should have now four objects here and uh, with a name called my 
container group and this also if you see the containers the two different containers are running see here two containers uh, with uh, one with the tutorial app other one the sidecar and both are working fine and the count of is just the one that concludes how to create container groups